Yeah. I don't care nothing about that. No, but I'm saying that's why I was calling on that, yo, bro. I don't know what y'all got going on, but they about to try to expose you for blah, 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 blah. And he was like, I ain't worried about this. Give me all this shit. I ain't worried about that. Okay, cool. But at my, at my homeboy, at the end of the day, that's my dog. I got, I'm got, i going to hold it. I'm going to hold it back. So I was just putting his boots on like, yo, just be careful now. I'm not about to do you wrong. But it don't matter. I don't care not about that, T. Ron. And what I told you, when you said you was going to tell him, I told you straight up. Shit, go ahead. Yeah, why did that? So I want to see what I did. Why? Shit, because he posts a motherfucking post trying to be funny on Facebook about me. He trying to do. He trying to sneak this. First of all, he know we ain't no motherfucking friends on Facebook. He know he ain't my friend on Facebook. I ain't know nothing about the post. I ain't know nothing about the post until I got the tub today and I got the call about the post. So my whole thing with him. Why you always want to beat down your motherfucking keyboard? You a grown ass man. Call my phone. That what you do. Call my phone. I don't want that man thinking I be I be sweating him. I ain't sweating no motherfucking Buddha. Come back here. Whatever I'm saying, you know. The fuck? Ain't nobody sweating him. Ain't nobody fucking sweating him. That's why I told you. I don't even know why you call him. Because I already know how that shit go. Buddha already got the big head. He already think he top notch. When he ain't even really fucking top notch. That's why I told you I hate you even call him with that. Don't make that man feel like he that. Because he ain't that. So I got you. I mean, I, ain't, I don't like drama for one. So yeah, well, you ain't like drama, but I can tell you one thing: you don't you don't stir up a whole pot. You don't stir up a whole pot of whip asses. I'm about to I'm about to dig in his ass on that YouTube. I'm really about to do it now. Oh no, I'm about to, I'm really about to dig in that one thing behind me, whatever behind me coming with receipts. And that's what going and that's what I'm doing. I'm saying everything and I'm posting everything. So I hope you got plenty of paper towel to wipe that big ass of his. I ain't got no relationship with him. Alright, T Ron, I'll holler. Okay. video and this video is venting again about who kifra jontel motherfucking sure bring your big ass to the motherfucking table because guess what i'm about to drop my nuts on you hoe <laughs> that's right i'm about to fry and die your big ass that's right because you shouldn't play with me i gave you three chances three 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 times i was gonna roast you but i didn't i left it alone I let it go and I let it be. But today, when I got this message about you this morning, you fucked up, period. Big time. I'm going to get you. I'm going to let you. Well, what happened? Oh, you're going to get straight into it. Mr. Buddha Man. From the beginning. Okay, oh, let me beginning. start from the beginning. I'm going to just give y'all the whole rundown. For now, when I very first started fucking around with Buddha, mm -hmm. okay. Me and Buddha started fucking around last year, I want to say... October, if I ain't mistaken. I almost called I almost called cause they did that too. Uh October, right. if I ain't mistaken. And I don't even know for real what even made me even talk to that boy. For real. But anyway, long story short, boom, end up talking. So I used to have been staying with my aunt no then in the country. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. I ain't got to call their name. But anyway, I was staying with my aunt. So he used to come to my aunt house all the time and see me or whatever. So Long story short, met up with him at the hunting club one night. Me and my cousin son went out there, met up with him at the hunting club. So from there, when he started coming to my um, cousin house or whatever, I already was talking to somebody. I was talking to another nigga when I started talking to Buddha. So I, I mind you, mind you, mind you, I already wasn't like, I was like two years in from being single away from my baby daddy. So I told Buddha straight up. When he said the thing about the relationship, I told Buddha straight up, I said, look, what type of time are you trying to be on? Because I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. 
I ain't trying to do this and that. Buddha words to me was he don't like he don't like sharing he don't like sharing his women. So he was telling me he wanted to be in a relationship because basically he's saying he's selfish. So I said okay, boom. So I stopped fucking with the nigga that I was fucking with. I cut that nigga off and started talking to Buddha. Okay, long story short, got down. When me and Buddha was kicking it, kicking it, everything went all good, everything went all gravy. You know, he was doing what he supposed to do. Got down, tried to take me on dates, taking me to the beach, to his favorite motherfucking spot that he take all his motherfucking bitches at. Anyway, taking me to the beach, doing everything. So, got down, shit started going sour. So, God been giving me red flags about Buddha anyway. I been getting red flags about food, Buddha. First red flag I got about Buddha was, one night we landed in my aunt's house. T. Ron's sister, Lakeisha, Lakasha, whatever her name is, Ravenel, called his phone 12 o'clock, 12 a.m., 12 o'clock late that night. So he ain't answered the phone. So I'm like, damn, why is she calling you? So he's, he made it seem like some shit like, oh, she probably calling me something about T. Ron or something like that. So I was like, well, damn, T. Ron, your homeboy, why you answer the phone? He said, like, she ain't want nothing. Okay, swept that on the road. Now, same incident, different location at his mama house. Now, now we at his mama house in his room. 11 something p.m. at night going on 12 something again. The same girl, t Ron's sister, been calling him again. So I said, well, Buddha, if you ain't got nothing going on with this girl, why the fuck this girl steady calling you late at night doing around the same hours? Like, this girl ain't calling you for nothing. So he swept it off again. So now, dad left alone. Now, I'm texting my cousin and all them. Then, y'all, I think Buddha this and that. I think Buddha tried to play with this and that. What y'all think? So now everybody, God giving me signs by him. Now everybody got me feeling like I'm tripping. So I'm like, okay, maybe I am fucking tripping. Maybe it is me. So sweeping the shit under the rug, sweeping the shit under the rug. So got now, before I even got in a relationship with this motherfucker, if anybody know me, they know me. If anybody know me, they know me. They know I'm fucking wild. It's fuck. So got down. He going to sit there. I asked him good before I even made up my mind to be in a relationship with him. I was like, well, who are you already fuck with, Raheem Summerson? So he told me, he was like, I ain't fuck with nobody in Summerton, but everybody be trying to fuck with me. Everybody be swiping up on my uh, Snapchat. He was like, uh, Damisha. He said, Damisha been trying to fuck with him for a long time, and he ain't never fuck with Damisha, which I already know that motherfucking cap, because if Damisha had one of motherfucking want you, he would have, she would have motherfucking had you, he was saying about how Joy was trying to fuck with him, but he ain't wanting to fuck with Joy, because of Jaquez would have been mad, and all this and that, and how he got Joy and Kim drunk in Peter Black spark one night, and digging on him, and Peter Black was digging on him, Kim, I mean Joy, but, and Joy, Kim was trying to dance all on him, and he ain't wanted Kim to dance on him. And he moved and Kim started dancing on somebody else. All kind of shit. So he just lying. Everybody want Buddha. Everybody want Mr. Buddha man. But Buddha ain't even nobody got down in ball. He was talking about how Leanne got down. Was trying to get Darius to hook him up with her. And he ain't want no motherfucking Leanne. What he looked like. Fucking around with Leanne. All kind of shit. But anyway. Long story motherfucking short once again. No this ain't no motherfucking long shot. This is story time. This is story motherfucking time. So, goddamn, after all that, so now we done came out of my grandma house. Came out of my grandma house, and that's when the shit started going on with the situation. With No, 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 I skip it. Um, They had a goddamn thing for, for Lil Black. They had a thing for Lil Black at um, Peter Black's spot or whatever. So, go out there. Went out there. Me and my sister went out there. So, now, whole time... He sweating little Tony. He sweating my sister about, oh, little Tony this, little Tony that. I don't like your sister. Your sister messy this and that to the third. So whole time, anytime, anytime anybody is hip the Buddha and his bullshit or see past Buddha bullshit and telling you and can say, oh, Shante, anybody that came to me and said, oh, Shante, Buddha ain't no good. The Buddha doing this or Buddha doing that. Oh, hold, yes. on, hold on, wait a minute. He don't like that. But if you go, if you go along with his shit, his bullshit and that little good front he be trying to put on, he all for you. And that's why, that's why he don't like Tony. That's why he call himself on like my cousin. I ain't going to call her name because she's a business person. But that's why he call himself on like my cousin. That's why my other motherfucking cousin don't like him because everybody see past his motherfucking bullshit. And then he don't even know me. He yeah. don't know me. When he first met me, y'all, he came me out to the house with a 
big ass plate of mm. wings from her house. Nigga sat on the other side of the table trying to tell me, oh, this Buddha, Buddha, this Tony. And I look at him. Oh, okay then. Y'all, he ate, he put the whole chicken in his mouth. Mm. Like, literally put the whole, the whole flat in his mouth. Brought it back out. All that man want to do is eat mm. and sleep. He sound like a grizzly bear. So I'm trying to figure out, I, I'm sitting here listening with y'all. I'm letting her vent because I'm trying to figure out how she did it for so long. How? And then, not only that. How? I did it for so long. I'm going to tell you that part. You're going to get that all in. Anyway, okay. So after that, we had, we end up around. So my granddad said that when I started selling, hustling, you know, doing my little food or whatever. So goddamn, we used to stay, we used to be around there. So that's when the shit used to start going on on my motherfucking phone. Somebody started planning on my motherfucking phone about Buddha. So I told Buddha straight up. I said, Buddha, ain't nobody playing on my goddamn phone. I thought it was joy and I'm playing on my phone. Oh, and sure and I told, shit. hold on, wait a minute. And I told um Tony that too. I said, no, I think he was saying that ain't nobody but your motherfucking sister. That ain't nobody but your motherfucking sister. So I said, well, Buddha, if you think that my sister, let's call my sister and let's tell my sister. Because she going to tell you if that hurt. So, no, we ain't got the call. We ain't got the call. We ain't got the call. Okay, boom. Okay, skip all that. The bitch. Oh, and I call, and I call him again. Now this is the third incident I call him. I call him again. Now he um he done ate and fell asleep and left his phone open yeah, and okay. untext Tyron's sister about get up. So after I got out the shower and came back in the in the store, I was like, well, Buddha, why the fuck you texting Tyron's sister get up? Like why? Why? And every time he fucking said this bitch is lying, like lying on top of lying on top of lying on top of lying. But I kid y'all not, when I first met Buddha Mama, me and Buddha Mama clicked like this. And Buddha did not want me and that lady to be close. He did not want me and that lady, me to be around her because she, he already know that that lady was going to fucking tell it. He already know. And that lady said out her own fucking mouth. He don't know, she don't know why her baby be trying to be a goddamn player because he always getting caught up. Okay. Now, scratch that. Done, goddamn, went to the house. Now we to the house now. We already moving the house now. We already moving the fucking house. This, this before so, the no, this, this is where about to happen at. Okay. So now we in the house, right? So now remember that three times I already caught him. Then the three red flags. Now the fourth one. Now we had, no, it ain't. The fourth one is when we was in the store and the scripper bitch, Cookie, he had her name saved as Cookie in his motherfucking phone. The little scripper bitch named Cookie, he had saved me her phone. She ended up fucking texting him. She had called him and he ain't had goddamn answer. So I said, well, Buddha, why didn't you answer the phone? Oh, ain't nobody. So the bitch ended up texting two times. So I was like, well, Buddha, who the fuck Cookie is? So he lied about that. So I flip out, I flip out on him so bad. He tried to tell, tried to pull a little story, a little story together about, oh, every time she come for town, she got there, hit me up, she strip a bitch, woo, woo, woo. Okay, brush that on to the side, that four. Now we at five. Now we don't move in our motherfucking house in the country. Moving the house, it's fat boy birthday. Fat boy birthday coming up, right? Fat boy birthday approaching. So, goddamn, he got the phone. Buddha had left his phone open on the motherfucking counter, right? Let me show you how God worked. He left his phone open on the counter. And I had got the shower. Buddha was getting in the shower. And I had the phone. So I said, Shante, go to Buddha Cash App. Went to the motherfucking Cash App. He done Cash App a bitch. 50 or $40. How much was it, Tony? How much? You said 50. I don't know. 50 or $40. Hold on, wait a minute. 50 or $40, right? So he had sent the bitch the money for a cake. So I was like, damn, why the fuck? Buddha cash app in this bitch. So ask him, Buddha, why the fuck you cash app in? What the fuck you cash app this bitch $50 for? Oh, ain't nothing but your sister tell you that. Ain't nothing but your sister being fucking nosy on my phone and all this and that. I say, Buddha, why are you send the girl $50? Who is the girl? So y'all, he swore up and down the, the cake. I sent, he said, I sent her the $50 for Fat Boy Cake. I ordered Fat Boy a strawberry shortcake cake for his birthday. Fat Boy likes strawberry shortcake. His brother going to go pick it up for him for the party. Now, I help. How I end up knowing about the thing. I looked the girl up on Facebook. And I reached out to the girl. And I asked her about the thing. So, I ain't never made no big issue about it just yet. Because I was trying to take his word for it. 
So goddamn, Sharita came and picked me up. And we went to Manning and shit. So Sharita said something about a cake. And I was like, well, Sharita. I said, you don't need to go buy no cake for a fat boy. Because Buddha already sent $50 to get fat boy a strawberry shortcake cake made or whatever. And Moosey, baby mama, was supposed to pick it up. So Sharita was like, tell you show. Because I ain't know nothing about that. So she called Moosey about the cake. Moosey ain't know nothing about the cake. So I ain't say nothing. I said, cool. Got the fat boy house. Me and Sharita already decorated the barn or whatever. So Buddha and them had went hunting. Came back from fucking hunting. Goddamn, his big ass looking fucking stupid and shit. We in the barn saying happy birthday to goddamn fat boy. He comes in the barn about, Shante, you cut me a piece of cake. I said, no, I ain't cut you a piece of no motherfucking cake. Cut the cake. You claim you order ain't get here yet. Ain't know the whole time the bitch done tell me he lying. She don't bake no cake. She don't do none of that. Her sister bake cake is not her. So whole long story short, he lied about the motherfucking cake. So now I'm still giving this bitch chance to tell me the truth about the money. He's still lying. Now the bitch, the bitch, the, the, the bitch done ready to call me on Facebook. Why Buddha in the bed with me to tell Buddha you lying? The girl said... I don't even know. She said, I didn't know this man was in a relationship. She said, I ain't know he was little. She said, I don't even know him. She said, this man keep writing me and keep writing me. And I keep telling him, I don't know him. And he keep telling me that he know me. See, he said, so what she told him was, if you want to talk to me, you ain't going to talk to me for free. You're going to cash out me something. And she said, Buddha sent her. $50 and he still lied. So when he finally came out the truth and admit about the $50, he still lied and said he know the girl and the girl needed her light bill paid and he get a girl $50 on her light bill. So I flip on him. You sending bitches money, but you ain't this bitch stingy. You ain't this bitch stingy. Okay, we going to get to that part later. Now, nah, that the fourth time I done caught him. But anyway, Buddha been fucking cheating. Buddha been fucking cheating. Buddha been fucking lying and everything else he been doing. But why I'm here sitting right here, right here, right now is because Buddha fucking played with me. Buddha played with me to the fucking fullest. And why I'm so mad? Because I could have really been real life Hold playing on, you with him. The cash out part by me supposed to be doing something. Now, I already said the cash. I already oh, talked about the cash out part. Yeah, I just not finna talk about the girl oh, for the birthday key. Oh, cause he tried to say I sent yeah. pictures to her phone. I was hacking his phone. Mm. But my thing is, you not in you not relevant in my life. To be trying to figure mm. out what you got going on, sir. I don't care about who you communicate with, who you messing with, and who you be around and where you be mm. at. You think I give a damn about you that bad? No, that's why. Because no. all the motherfuckers miss Cause it. Because then you lie. And then after all of it went down, I said, you going to do it on your time or you going to do it on my time? Hmm. Who time you going to do it on? Because you going to clear my name. But I'm going to see you, Mr. Buddha Man. Oh, Trust and I'm going to see you too. I left this man alone. Because I don't, I don't bother your big ass. Me and, me and my cousin Tamir. Okay. For the one, this mm. is how this shit happened. Yeah, put on a I was in June. I, hold, let me see if I can call her. Hey, Siri, call Big Mirror Boo. Hey Siri, call Big Mirabu. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Chante, let me see. Oh no, hold on. I ain't got my damn Siri ain't working yet. Hey Siri. On it. Call Big Mirabu. Calling Big Mirabu. I don't got no service in here. But don't worry about them. Oh, there it is. Hold on, y'all. I called it my cousin because my cousin was the one who was with me when both of the incidents went down. Both of the big ones. The one at Fat Boy House and the one that happened at my house. I mean, at his mama's house. She ain't called. She ain't answered. But anyway, okay. And another thing, like I was saying before, this fall in the category when I see I be in kitchen, would have cheated on me or whatever. So like even like when his mama passed away or whatever, like before his mama passed away, I caught you know him and Sherry, you know writing each other, writing each other on Facebook or whatever. So he was on the phone one day with a dude from Food Line. And he was telling them, I guess they had nobody him and Sherry. I ain't know if he messed with Sherry or what. So he called himself, asked him about that, lied about that. So call him, call her. His mom passed away. She was like, um, sorry for your loss, big baby. 
So he called himself sneaking. I ain't no already done seen it. So he called himself sneaking in the crowd with the boys to write her back or whatever. Now and and Jasmine, I also call him with a Jasmine book heart. He was talking about her. They was writing each other for saying T, her baby daddy Vance, or whatever his name, Lance, Vance, whatever his name is. I got into it with him by her. I got into it with him about a Britney girl from Columbia. Like, he was just a cheater. Buddha was such a big fucking cheater and a liar. And just like I said, I just was mad that I didn't dog walk him because I had, I could have had did it. And I didn't do it. So, that's it. That's the story. That's all. Like, it coming, it's coming as I'm listening, but it's coming, you know, in and out, in and out. But, yeah, that's it. That's, Don't worry about that pack. He I don't want to talk about him no more. Only thing I mean, I'm glad he's no longer my headache. Thank you, Jesus. And that's Wait, it. I was in. I went to. I went to the hospital in June. I went to the hospital in June. But me and Buddha, to be honest with y'all, that relationship been dead. That relationship, the, that that relationship been that well had been ran dry a long time ago. But the only reason why I was holding on to Buddha as long as I was holding on to Buddha was because I made that boy and mama a promise. I told Miss Joanne, Miss, I told Miss Joanne straight up, don't you worry about Buddha. I'll make sure Buddha straight. You know, I do right. I ain't going to hurt your baby, Miss Joanne. That's the only reason why I did right by Buddha. The only reason why. The only fucking reason. And that bitch played with me. That bitch played with me. And he played his fucking self. Went to the hospital in June. I had surgery in June. I had three surgeries in June. Three. Came home. Fat boy was in New York. He was dying to get the fat boy house. This is the first incident. This what made me get him to fuck up out my house. Came home. Now this bitch, no. I just getting out the hospital. I had all this shit going on. This bitch so thirsty and want to get the fuck out to go to Fat Boy House to hang with Moosey and a fucking pat pat. But he he used that as an excuse, but he was really trying to get no motherfucking bitches. So 4 o'clock in the morning came, I called like, damn, what the fuck? You, what the fuck you want? It's 4 o'clock. This bitch is going to come out his mind and tell me, talking about, um, okay, what that mean? I'm at Fat Boy House chilling. I'm chilling this and that. So me and Tamira done pulled up over there. Now, mind you, he knew I was fucking coming over there. He knew I was coming, so got over there, stopped answering the phone and all. So he got pat pat. No fucking came out the motherfucking door, shooting the motherfucking shotgun. And I flipped out that bitch. I flipped. I flipped the fuck out. I flipped out, and my cousin got out the car, and she started flipping out on Buddha, too. That was his first time I made him get out. I made, I woke him up. He came to my house, 8 o'clock. I made him pay the rent, and then got the fuck out my house. That the first incident. So right then and that. You out my motherfucking house. It's game. It's ball game on. I'm going. It's time for me to get back on my old niggas. Because they don't never be too far away any fucking way. So now me and Buddha already done. We know we still. We don't break up. About five days after that, Buddha called my phone. Damn. I miss you. What are you doing? What you got going on? Da, 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 da. I just want to be there for you. I want to make sure you straight while you going through what you going through. Da, da, da. So he pulled back up. He pulled he pulled up and bring me and my kids son to eat or whatever. So during that time, after that, he still was paying my bills. He still was taking me to the doctor. He still was making sure I was straight and I was good. So he still was doing that, which that's cool. And that's cool. Like, and I always respect him for that because he didn't have to fucking do that. So, okay. Now... He's back and forth, back and forth. So I always tell Buddha, Buddha, look, we ain't the fucking together. We separated. I know you got this going on. Don't lie to me because at the end of the day, we still could be cool. We still could be friends. But bitch, don't push me to a corner where you're going to make me fucking hate you because that you don't want. So y'all, I kid you fucking not. I kid you not. Okay, Buddha, it was time for Buddha to pay one of my bills again. The night before I caught Buddha with this ugly ass Jeeper Creeper looking uh -huh. ass bitch, he came, he sat on the phone. He called me because I already had fell back. Like I wasn't pressuring him about nothing because you ain't my nigga. Like you just looking out for me, you know, we looking out, but you know, we still was fucking. We still was doing every motherfucking thing that we was doing when we was together. So goddamn that night before I catch the bitch, I just told Buddha, I said, Buddha, let me tell you one motherfucking thing. Whatever you're doing, you can lie all you want to, but God's going to bring that shit to the fucking light. So the next day, 
my grandma home kelly had tell me she said you want to go and pick up your money from buddha and go you know pay your bill or what you want to do i was like well i'm just call him and tell him the cash app me so i ain't we ain't even got to go over there you know that can save everybody too so call him phone went to the voicemail so i'm like damn i know buddha ain't got me on the block list i just talked to him last night so I called him off my grandma people's phone and it went to the voicemail. I said, okay, Buddha got his phone on, do not disturb. So Bill, we pull up over there. Me, him, my grandma and my baby pull, I mean, me, my grandma, my grandma people's and my baby pull up over there. So I got out the car, went beating on the door, beating on the door. Nobody came to the door. So my baby was like, ma, it's a silver car in this yard that I ain't never seen before. So I was like, what kind of fucking silver car? So it was a little Nissan SUV. So when I turned and looked, I seen it. And I was like, well, that's a girl car. So I told my grandma, my people's going to know, take me back across the water because I know I was about to act up and I ain't wanting to act up in front of my grandma. So took they bring me back across the water, went back over there, came back over. My cousin Tamira came and picked me back up and she took me back over there. So when we went back over there about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. By the time we got back over there, they still wasn't back yet. So we pulled out the yard, went up to the light, and came back. They was pulling in the yard. They must have was they must have was already in the yard. We must have passed them or didn't know it. Cause by the time we came back, the girl was trying to back out the yard. So got down. My baby was like, "Oh my, the girl pulling out the yard. The girl backing out the yard." So I was like, "Well, let me see which way she go." So got down. She was going towards Ella Reway. So pulled the girl, pulled the little girl over. She was like, "I'm just trying to figure out why y'all trying to stop me." So I'm like. You just got the call with my nigga. So she was like, oh my God. And she hollered and she stuck the gas. So I was like, Tamira, turn this bitch around and go back to Buddha house. Cause that's a little girl. Went back to the house. He got his big ass up in the motherfucking window on the phone. Looked like a motherfucking day headlights in the damn wall. We don't pull up. He's talking about, y'all please just go. Y'all please just go. So the little girl don't pull back up in the yard. So now he, this bitch is out there trying to diss fucking on me. Like, he don't know who the fuck I am. Like, he ain't know who the fuck I am at all. And I flip. I flip out so bad out there. Because all that fucking telling me, bitch, you been talking to this girl. You been had this shit going on. None of this shit brand new. But just like I said, that bitch been cheating. When Miss Joanne passed away, when Miss Joanne passed away, Buddha, I caught Buddha texting the girl. The fucking girl up on the motherfucking phone telling him about sorry for your mama and all this and that to the third. He lied about that bitch. The damn caught him on the porch trying to sneak. I'm sitting in his mama den the day after the funeral when they was cooking the crab legs and shit. I'm sitting in the motherfucking den. He's standing his big ass up in the door. Couldn't see me sitting in there. He's sitting outside trying to sneak and tell his motherfucking brother no about a whole nother bitch. I'm looking at this man through the door the whole time. So when he looked through the door and see me in there looking at him, he tried to play it off. And I'm like, yeah, I see you. I heard you. Like, no, I'm not about to sit here and let this man. And now you coming with this motherfucking... Post nigga on Facebook? Really? I should have been the last motherfucking person, Mr. Buddha man, that you tried to motherfucking come for. And blind, you big fat stink bitch. Blind. Blind is when you open your motherfucking eyes and don't see shit but black. But guess what? I tried to spare you over and over and over again. I didn't even have want to do this YouTube shit. I didn't have want to do this shit, but I done spared you too motherfucking long. And guess what? You be trying to keep that motherfucking face card clean across that motherfucking water. But guess what? I'm going to let everybody know how the fuck you really is. Because you real life a real fucked up person in the inside. A real fucked up person. You tell them about that hemorrhoid? No, yeah. And by that mother, you know that same motherfucking hemorrhoid you used to bend your big ass over, looking in the motherfucking mirror. At rubbing the motherfucking soap on, telling me by it motherfucking hurting. You can't sit down on your motherfucking big ass. I'm about to put this size eight shoe right up and stuff that bitch right back up there, goddamn it. Yeah, with your messy ass. You sit on that motherfucking keep and T Ron, T Ron, bring your ass and sit right here on this chair. Sit your ass down, T Ron. Come and sit down. Because guess what? You too. You call my phone about motherfucking Buddha. I don't be having that man to think about. If anybody, if you know me, you know me. And a lot of y'all don't know me. Y'all think y'all know me, but y'all gonna know me when I do this Q&A. But yeah, if you know me, you know me. I don't give a fuck. And t -Ron, you know me. You even said yourself on that phone. When I told you on that phone, when you called me about Buddha the other morning, and I told you straight up, I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Buddha and what the fuck Buddha got going on. And I damn sure ain't sweating that little ugly ass bitch. I catch 
fucking week. Now you talking about blind bitch, you probably wish I was motherfucking blind. So I ain't caught you with that ugly ass bitch I caught you with because it gave very much fucking desperate. Bitch. And you talking about what the fuck broke, bitch broke. Buddha. That fucking money, don't fucking fly. You give me motherfucking $10,000 or more for fucking weed. Catching flights to Seattle, back to motherfucking Santee to trap to get your weed delivered to your motherfucking mama house, bitch. You ain't got shit. Your daddy said first hoe, your ass too motherfucking big and fucking trifling and lazy and don't want to do shit. All you do is talk about all your motherfucking friends. You want to be at the top of all of them. Look how you used to sit on the phone and talk about bean. You sit on the phone, you talk about polar bean. And I think that's why you went to get your motherfucking CDL. Because when you saw bean on his motherfucking shit trying to get his CDL, all you used to do was sit on the fucking phone and talk about bean. About, oh, oh, I don't think bean getting no motherfucking CDL. Oh, you think that shit kept bean doing. And now, he you on the phone talking about Moosey. And Moosey, what the fuck? Moosey got going on with his motherfucking baby mama the motherfucking bean now you sitting on the motherfucking phone with bean talking about josh rose and now you don't get caught up talking about lil e and yeah you was fucking talking about lil e all y'all was motherfucking talking about lil e now we're live in the motherfucking flesh that's why i glad he cut y'all motherfucking lame ass off I glad he cut y'all lame ass off because all y'all ain't doing nothing but hating on his motherfucking ass anyway. But y'all hating ass niggas. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking haters. And Buddha, you the number one fucking leader. Big ass. Don't ever fucking come for me. Ever. Because you already know. I know a fucking lot about your motherfucking ass, boy. Talk about look at the sky. No, bitch, I don't be looking at you. And you better be glad you wasn't at your motherfucking house today when I pulled up over there on your motherfucking ass. Because you got me fucked up. Why you tell T-Ron to sit next to you when he did? No, T-Ron, because T-Ron was the one who fucking called my phone the other day. T-Ron called my motherfucking phone the other day talking some shit. I'm on the phone, a whole different phone with two other people. He calls my motherfucking phone talking about Buddha. About, oh, damn, you throw me away because my dog throw you away. No, bitch, your dog ain't fucking throw me away. Your dog ain't had never wanted me to catch him with another bitch. Never did Buddha wanted me to catch him with another bitch. And if I would have never caught Buddha with that ugly ass, step pro ass bitch that he with, Buddha would have been still on my motherfucking line. Still. But no, he stood. What he should have did was been a man and pick up the fucking phone and call me and apologize. Buddha already know all the shit I done took off of him. Every fucking thing. I done stuck by that man. I done did everything. The only thing you want to do is fucking eat and sleep. That's all you want to fucking do is eat and fucking sleep and hunt. That's all the fuck you want to do. And sit up around everybody and act like you, you that motherfucking nigga. You ain't that nigga. You is not that motherfucking nigga. And I'll be the one to fucking tell you you ain't. The fuck wrong with you? You ain't doing nothing, but you ain't doing nothing but making three, four hundred dollars off the back end off your little motherfucking box. So what the fuck is you saying? What the fuck is you really saying? For real. Everybody's gonna motherfucking figure your ass out. Everybody's gonna figure you the fuck out. It, just like it took me to figure your ass out, everybody's gonna figure you out. Everybody gonna figure your ass out. You can't hide that. A snake gonna share his skin, and you been sharing your motherfucking skin. You been doing it. You been doing it. Been been. And I called him today. Just like that shit happened with T-Ron. When T-Ron fucking called me, I called Buddha. When T-Ron told me he had called Buddha and told Buddha about that YouTube shit, I called Buddha right behind T-Ron. But he ain't answer my phone. He ain't answer my phone because he's motherfucking shame. The bitch shame in the best. So the day now when he got all us on the phone, all the shit came out my mouth. The only thing this man said something about was, well, Shantae, you got a nigga and I got a bitch. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? That's all you fucking care about if I got a nigga or not? Like, I cannot fucking deal. I cannot fucking deal. And Buddha, I'm going to say this to you right here, right now. You keep on running your motherfucking mouth. And you know them big old hard sweaty ass nuts you got down there? But your little shrimp, <laughs> when your little shrimp, toe ass dick, your little fucking dick, and got balls from here to motherfucking Mexico. I'ma hang you by them big ass fucking hard balls of yours, and I'm gonna fucking light your ass on fire, and I'ma watch them flames fucking burn. Cause guess what? You playing with motherfucking fire now. Guess what? When I get that motherfucking laser surgery on my eye and get that fucking fall move, bitch, I'm coming for you.
I'm coming for you. Because, bitch, you already know. I already wagged with this man, y'all. I swear to God, from the moment I met this fucking man and I went, I wagged with that man. man. I was by that boy and mama's side from the time she, from the time I clicked well to the time she died. And which is okay because I got a whole different type of love for Miss Joanne. And that's why I try to tell Mr. Frank and Buddha today, Buddha, you already know what type of time it is. You should have had more fucking respect for me than what you did. I don't give a fuck about who you fuck with, who you with. They can have you. And you talking about miserable? Bitch, I ain't, I'm far from miserable. I'm far from miserable. I'm doing my own motherfucking thing. And you already know that. It could have been plenty of days. Niggas been wanting to pull up on me at the house while your big ass in the motherfucking room snoring and choking on your spit. Niggas wanting to pull up while you there. I'm I'm spared you. I spared you. I spared you a whole lot. I spared you. And not because of you, because you know that little shit been felt off. I done caught this boy on the phone. I done caught Buddha on the phone with Barry fucking White. Talked about me to Barry White. Got down the same motherfucker he be talking about like a dog. He talked about be like a motherfucking dog, but guess what? He need B just as much as B need him. That's why he can't let B fucking go, because he need B. He need him. When I say he need him, he fucking need him. Yes, he do. Him, now he get mad because he hit me on the phone telling my sister about how I feel about him. Cause I can't fucking talk to you. Couldn't never fucking talk to him. Every time I'm talking to him, he acting like, oh shit, this and that. Just acting like a big ass motherfucking baby. You know why? Cause them motherfuckers crossed that water steady, baby his ass up. And that's why I told his daddy today. Since y'all don't want to put y'all foot down the border, guess what? I'm gonna be the one to do it. And I'm and I'm gonna do it. And that's what I'm doing. Cause I'm not about to let Buddha play with me. Buddha is not about to play with me, honey. No, he's not about to do it. He's not about to do it because Buddha already know. Buddha already know what all I know motherfucking did for him. And yeah, th I thank him for doing whatever he had did for me. But bitch, you is not about to motherfucking play with me. You is not about to fucking play with me. You not about to do that. You not. Talk about mad, bitch. I ain't mad. When I caught him with the bitch, I told him straight up, bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. Neither that motherfucking bitch. Miserable? I was miserable when I was with you. When that love shit ran out, when you couldn't keep putting on that motherfucking front no more, bitch, that when I became miserable. When your big ass ain't wanting to go on dates no more, when you ain't wanting to do nothing but fucking run up behind your homeboy, it was my motherfucking birthday. If you think I lie, I will call my cousin DJ Rat now. I will call my cousin D Rat now and put this bitch on speakerphone and let D tell y'all. December, my birthday came around. And this boy knew my birthday came around. My brother... My brother, girlfriend, all of them came to my house, out to my house. This big bitch went home, went, that next man said, happy birthday, mind you, sleep by this bitch and all. This bitch ain't wake up and say, he ain't roll over and say, happy birthday. He ain't say shit. This big bitch went home. Me and my brother had to end up going over there to pick him up because his fucking car, something broke down. Still get in the car and say happy birthday. Now we don't get back home. My my cousin I came out here for Atlanta. D and my cousin, my brother girlfriend them came out of my house. So now they like, okay, Shantae, it's your birthday. Why you not doing nothing? This big bitch left my house. My brother girlfriend came out there and did something in my house for my birthday. And he knew it. So I'm like, well, Buddha, come on, let's go out and eat or something. His his big ass always wanna be on the motherfucking walkie-talkie shit, Zello shit. Trying to be funny, him and Fat Boy, all this and that about bitches this and bitches that. Anyway, the bitch left the house and went to Fat Boy at them house, right? So went to Fat Boy house, eat, oh, went to Fat Boy at them house, talking about me on my birthday, about how he ain't did nothing for me for my birthday. And this big bitch can't rap back, he can't rap back home, can't rap home, right? So now everybody in here giving him the side eye, D flipping. Because D said straight up, Shantae, leave that motherfucking clown ass nigga alone. I can't stand his fat ass. So now I'm steady sparing his face. And right after that, his birthday went in January. He shitting on me for my birthday. And when his birthday came, I made sure this bitch had a whole motherfucking cookout for his birthday for his daddy, brother, and friends came over there. Because you know what? That ain't my heart. I ain't no fucked ass bitch. I ain't no fuck up ass bitch. But guess what? That bitch had played with me for the last motherfucking time. And you say, man, the only thing that I'm mad at, that I ain't dog walk your ass. And I'm supposed to have did that. All them girls cross that water. When them bitches find out that I'm fucking with you, they been calling my cousin. I'm telling me, why the fuck you?
you fucking with Buddha. Buddha lame. Buddha don't want to do nothing but sleep when he drive, eat, and all this and that. And they ain't lie because that's the only thing your big ass do. When you eat, you ain't getting nothing else out your motherfucking ass. Nothing. Can't get nothing out you. Want you. Whatever they don't get out your big ass before you eat, bitch, it's over with. It's over with. You are no more good for nothing. With 24 hours. No more good. And you want to fucking play with me? You want to play with me, Buddha? You want to play with me? You know you shouldn't play with me. You know you shouldn't play with me. You know it because you know I know too much. You know I know too much, right? Mm. I don't think you know, but guess what? It's about to come out. It's about to come fucking out, motherfucker. Yeah, because you don't play with the wrong sister here today. I don't know what made you post that motherfucking status. I don't know what the fuck understanding y'all got going on. And y'all be killing me about... Literally, we know Buddha don't give a fuck. Buddha give a fuck. Buddha put that fucking front on for y'all. Deep down inside, Buddha gives a fuck. And I'm telling y'all this. I know this. I don't sit on this phone. This man ain't nothing but a motherfucking hater down deep inside. That's all he doing. He ain't. He got, only thing he want to do is post his motherfucking money. And you know why? He go out post his money because his dick is fucking little. And he feel like that the fuck going to get them bitches attention. But guess what? That's exactly why he going to run across somebody. And they going to run his ass dry like a motherfucking limit. Which and they need to. Anybody that get y'all motherfucking hands on to squeeze that bitch dry like a lemon. Squeeze him. Squeeze him so you can't fucking squeeze him no motherfucking more. Bitch, you try to come over here and play that. The only thing I'm mad about, that goddamn, I ain't walk your ass like a dog. And guess what? I spared you. Because if you think I'm lying, you can ask my cousin. I was going to motherfucking, guess, girl, boy, I was going to snatch your motherfucking brother up. That's what the fuck I was going to fucking do. I was going to fucking snatch your brother up, motherfucker. When I first laid eyes on Junior, yes, I was going to fucking snatch his ass up. But the only reason why I ain't did that. When I left out your mom's room that night, me and my cousin all came to your house the first time I seen Junior, I said, damn, who the fuck that is? Ain't no whole time that your motherfucking brother. I said, damn, I should have wait and see his, and wait until I see his motherfucking brothers. But bitch, you motherfucking lucky. I should have motherfucking smoked your boots. <laughs> I should have smoked your motherfucking boots, Mr. Key for sure. That's why I should have did. Hmm. But guess what? Guess what? All y'all gonna get exactly what y'all looking for. Because that's the only reason why you're hanging up. The only person I ain't never heard you talk about, and I can get that to you, was Fat Boy. That the only person I ain't never hear you talk about. The only person. Everybody else, you don't talk about like a dog. You talk about t raw like a dog. You talk about Lil E like a dog. And Lil E shut your motherfucking ass down as he should. Talk about... Oh, I'm about to come over to your house and talk to you like a man. That man didn't want to talk to your clown ass because you a motherfucking clown. Yeah, y'all sit on that phone and talk about Lil E like a dog. Yeah. Mm. Y'all talk about him like a dog. You sure did. And guess what? You ain't got to figure out where it coming from because guess what? It coming out my mind. Now, God damn it. It coming from the horse's mouth herself. You sure did. Steady worry about my cousin Wendy. Damn, y'all must see want to motherfucking fuck Wendy or something. Fuck you, a bunch of bitches. That's all y'all is, is a bunch of clown ass bitches. That's it. That motherfucker would jump hell, hell, head over heels for his motherfucking homeboys. I'm telling you. That bitch will go take them bitches on dates, take them out of town and all. Oh, he full of Puff Daddy. Ooh, he must be like Puff Daddy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> For real. No, for real. He's a, he's a trip. He is a trip. He is a trip, y'all. This man is a trip. Don't let that nice shit, don't let that nice shit fool you. And I'm going to tell y'all, that bitch is something, it really is something going on with, with this man in the inside. He need a motherfucking clean his spirit up. Because I'm telling you, that bitch is, and he love, and you know what? I can't stand about the big motherfucker. He love calling everybody broke. He called everybody broke. Every fucking body. But you know what? If you got so much money, why the fuck you ain't got shit to show for it? But that motherfucking white motherfucking truck that stay broken down on your motherfucking big ass. You ain't got shit but a whole bunch of motherfucking hunting dogs in the motherfucking backyard. What the fuck do you got to show for it for real? Because that was Miss Joanne Black Truck. You That ain't your shit. She just left you that. That's your daddy motherfucking blue bins. That ain't your shit. You ain't got no motherfucking house to show for it. You ain't got shit to show for it. But you got so much motherfucking.
fucking money though. So what you where, where is that? What you doing with it? What's so top notch kindles about your motherfucking ass? Cause I'm I'm confused and I would love to fucking know. Mm, big fucking ass. You got me fucked up. And I didn't even want to come on here. I did not want it to come on here at all. When all that shit popped off, I told this man, I told everybody straight up, like, I don't want to do that. You know, at first I was shitting because he had me mad. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get his ass. But as time went by, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm not about to do that. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to let God handle him. And it seemed like every time I let that shit go, he call it, He got somebody calling around my motherfucking phone. What do you want me to do? You want me to chase you? Because it ain't going to happen. You want me to blow your phone up? Bitch, because it ain't going to happen. What the fuck you want? But guess what? I'm going to give you a run for your motherfucking money. I'm going to give you a run for your motherfucking money. You better hope. Any race I hear about you and my Uncle Melvin don't got, my cousin don't got, I'm coming. I'm coming. And you going to be the reason why I'm coming. I'm going to clear your ass in front of everybody. You want to play with me? Bitch, game on. And I tried to let your motherfucking ass live. I could have pulled up on your, your I could have pulled up on you at Caesar House. I know when you were came to Caesar House to drop you, drop the motherfucking weed off. I know when you was over there. But I didn't pull up on you. I ain't about to run you down. I'm gonna run into you. I know I'm gonna run into you. That's why I'm chill. Cause when I run into you, that shit is gonna be ugly. And I'm telling you that right fucking now. All I'm saying to you is chill the fuck out. I don't know who got you thinking you you that important that a bitch stressing out over you ain't no bitch stressing out over you. I know this. I know I ain't stressing out over your motherfucking ass. I ain't worried about your ass. Use a weight off my motherfucking shoulder. Cause the only thing you did was lie and try to be a motherfucking cheater bitch, and you got caught up every motherfucking time, ho. Every motherfucking time. And I still spared your ass. So if I'm mad about anything, I'm mad that I ain't get the motherfucking walk your ass like a dog, like I should sure have. That, that's what I'm mad about. But guess what? I ain't going to have to walk your ass. But guess what? All them other bitches going to walk your ass. Because I heard you motherfucking paying your way across that water. But you ain't got no choice but to pay your motherfucking way. Because that dick ain't talking. That dick ain't talking. That dick talk. That dick talk. Ain't nothing on it. Ain't nothing on that bitch but big motherfucking hog balls. That's it. Hog motherfucking balls, bitch. That's all down it. That's all fucking down it. And a motherfucking day, and a motherfucking wee wee that big right there, bitch. With big ass fucking balls. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck you playing with? You must be crazy. And all day and day, I'm calling this bitch today. I call this bitch today. This bitch gonna tell all, out of all the shit I'm saying on this phone, the only thing this man heard me say was, I'm on the phone with my other nigga. I was on the phone with my other nigga and my sister. Bitch, what? I'm on the phone. This bitch gonna say, well, Shante and all this, you got you a nigga and I got me a bitch. Bitch, what? Did you understand what the fuck what the conversation was about? That bitch slow, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all this right here. I ain't care if who man. And guess what? I already had called and tell your daddy that I was gonna do this. But he told me not to do it. But I told him I was going to do it because you played with me for the last time. I was trying to catch you home when we can't cross the motherfucking water this morning on your ass. But you ain't been home. You and little Nisa, Nisa Marana must have was out on Sunday dinner. Because guess what? Y'all wasn't motherfucking home. But guess what? I told him straight up I'm going to do it. They might be scared to open their motherfucking mouth to your big ass. But I ain't scared. You know I ain't never been scared to read your ass. Never been. Never been. Yo, fake ass. Bitch, you fake as fuck. That's what you is. And I'm going to tell you right now, anybody that owe this man money, pay this man motherfucking money. Because the only thing he do is live for fucking Facebook. Live for that motherfucking Zello shit he be on. Trying to be fucking, fucking funny. A big ass bitch. Bitch, you grown as fuck. But everything you do is real bitchy. Like, bitch, you got my motherfucking number. But instead, you want to beat up a motherfucking keypad. Talk about... Motherfucker, what he said? What that screenshot said again? About um something about me and my no, sister gonna make a YouTube or something about what somebody gonna look at in the sky. No bitch, I'm gonna look at you. And my thing is, I don't I'm know too much to do. You. If that was the case, I would have sat down way before I even got Ryan. Y'all would have been. Don't worry about it. I, I got so some. And what make it so bad? Not. I wasn't even gonna do this motherfucking YouTube shit. I was just gonna do the Q and A that my sister want me to do. That was supposed to be in the first video. That was supposed to be in this video. But 
This bitch had me so shit in the day. I had to skip that video and put that video on pause and do this video. Because Mr. Buddha Man really got me fucked up. Buddha really got me fucked up. I don't know who got this man head gone. Somebody really got this man head gassed the fuck up that he really top notch. But what this man really be doing is this man be trying to be big dog on top of everybody. His friends and everything. His friends. And if they really pay attention, they can see. They will see what the fuck I'm talking about. That man killed himself to get his motherfucking CDL when he find out Bean had he his CDL. To I'm CDL telling you. I, know he ain't big I don't know what the fuck that boy got going on. I'm like, why the fuck you worried? Why are you so worried about Bean? Like, why are you so worried about these people? And Josh Rose, right? Josh Rose raced at my uncle them. I used to talk to him, but me and this man ain't never fucked. Me and this man ain't never did nothing. But Buddha asked me, just like I asked him when we first started talking, he asked me who all I fucked with. And I told him, the only person I didn't tell him who I had fucked with was the nigga I was fucking with when I started fucking with him. That's the only person I didn't tell him. So now, when he started racing, he used to talk shit about all of them. He used to talk shit about all of them. And I told him, you gonna end up racing with my uncle and watch. So now, he started racing with my uncle now. Josh Rose is the rider. So now, only thing I used to hear about is, well, how you feel when we be around him and he be, and all us be together? How I feel? Shit, I don't feel no type of motherfucking way how you feel. That's your rival. How you feel? I don't give a fuck. I don't care nothing about none of that. I don't care nothing about none of that. Nothing. So now, here he go. He used to always hold his nuts on my baby daddy. Oh my God. I ain't stopped. I was hearing about my baby daddy since me and this man started fucking around. Oh Lord. You and your baby daddy gonna get back together. You, your, your baby daddy want you. You love your baby daddy. This and that. Your baby daddy. When my baby daddy had posted that snap in that house. Oh my Lord. Oh my fucking God. It was all she fucking wrote. It was all she wrote, honey. It was all she wrote. But long story short, all I'm saying to you, Buddha, is keep my name out your fucking mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Know that I don't give a fuck about you. Know that I lost all respect for you. Know that you a clown-ass motherfucking nigga in a circus. All your nigga, all you and your niggas ain't up but a bunch of motherfucking clowns and y'all running the same motherfucking circus. Like, you just not that nigga. Like, you disgust. You is for, I look at you like you just so fucking disgust me so much. You disgust me so much. So don't think I'm worrying about you because I'm not. Don't think I'm stressing about you because I'm not. Like, you don't, I don't even wake up with you on my motherfucking mind because I already know I got my my date, my time and date set for you. I'm going to run into you when I'm least expected. So whenever I run into you, that's going to be my time for you. So don't never think, I don't know why the fuck team I don't even call you with anything about nothing. The last time I spoke to T-Ron was when Tamira called me to get some mattresses for him, for her peoples. Don't worry, I got the people who need mattresses, so please contact me. Me and him don't talk no more, but I'll get y'all some mattresses. For real, I don't do all that. And Buddha, you know me better. You know me better than that to even know if but anything. No bad yeah, like you, you should have just called me and say, well, yeah. damn, T Ron mm -hmm. tell me such and such and such and such. What's what's going on? But instead, you want to get your big fat ass like you always do. The same thing you did to Wendy. Up on there all throwing all the motherfucking subliminals about Wendy up on Facebook. But goddamn, every time somebody come to your front door and ask you what the fuck going on, it always no, it ain't that. Well, how somebody know why you think it for you? What the fuck you mean? It don't take a rocket science to figure shit out. But don't worry about it. I got something for you, Mr. Booty Man. I got something for you. It could be 10 years from now. It could be 10 years from now. Yeah, you still gonna be holding on for You time? better know we got unfinished business. Yeah, she Me and you, keep a shirt, we got unfinished business. And to the day I see you with my own two eyes, we got unfinished business. And I mean it because you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Real fucked up. And I ain't care who mad. Guess what? Your brothers done ain't been mad. Your brothers done ain't been mad. When well, you been motherfucking trying to play me for a fool, they know about all them motherfucking bitches. Look at the time we been in Seattle the last time. When you been in Seattle with B. 
And then we laying up in the bed, your brother called you by, you, you had fucked a little white, light-skinned girl. Whoever the fucking white bitch been in Seattle, and then you gonna hang up the phone, you gonna tell him about, oh, I'm gonna call you back. No, because you ain't know he was gonna fucking say that shit, because I was laying right beside your big ass. And like I ain't hear that, swept that shit under the rug. But guess what? I ain't sweeping nothing else under the rug. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck about how I feel about shit, and I don't give a fuck about you or how nobody else feel about nothing. But I'm um, Junior, back to you. I ain't got no bad blood with you, Junior. You, you always gonna be my favorite. Ooh, just to let you know. Just to let you know, Junior. You gonna always be my favorite. I don't got no problem with you. But your brother really motherfucking tried it. And I know he been sitting his motherfucking ass up over there trying to make it seem like it was me when it, was, it really wasn't me. I been sparing Buddha. I been sparing Buddha since the first time, since I first started catching on to his bullshit, I was sparing him. Sparing him. Sparing him. And I'm not sparing him no more. And my, I don't got no problem with you either. I don't got no problem with none of y'all. My issue is with Buddha. That who my issue with. My issue with Buddha. None of y'all. I don't got no problems with none of y'all. But if y'all feel some type of way too, then oh well, I don't care. Because your brother is really fucked up for real. Your brother fucked up on the inside. And that little bit of money that he playing with, that shit got his head fucking gone. For real, for real. Like he ain't really even playing with no rats for real. And my whole thing with him is, bitch, you right here, got your motherfucking CDLs. You done went. Get your, get your blood pressure under control. Take the test of everything. And bitch, you still ain't doing nothing with your CDL. You ain't doing shit with nothing. He but, don't fall but, but you still riding around here worrying about what the fuck I got going on across the motherfucking water. Got your homeboys calling my fucking phone and shit. Fucking with me about your big ass. Me and you will never be nothing. Me and you will never be nothing no more. We will not even be friends. And that's why I told... Mr. Frank on the phone today. Me and you can't even be motherfucking friends. Me and you, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. Flatline dead with us. Nothing. Because you is a fucked up person. And all you do is fucking lie. And guess what? Any bitch that fucking with him, check his motherfucking cash out. Check his motherfucking messenger. And check his motherfucking snap. He really love being on that motherfucking snap, though. He love that snap. That snap and no motherfucking messenger, check him. Check that bitch. Check him. Check him. I promise you, you're going to find out exactly what the fuck you need to know. But I'm finding out for me. Listen to me, because I'm going to tell you, that bitch is real motherfucking sneaky. The bitch is sneaky. Don't trust shit the bitch do. And the best thing you can do is get your own shit going on, because I'm going to tell you here and tell you right now, the bitch is real life motherfucking stingy for real. He do that little shit. He start off doing that little shit. All the dates and all the doing the nails and all that shit. Yeah, he do that shit, but guess what? That shit run dry real quick with his motherfucking ass. Quick. Excuse me. So you know what? I'm going to let him go. I'm going to say what I got to say. And that's what I got to say. The whole reason of this use or this shit here is because he motherfucking tried me. And I, and I tried to did it the grown way. I tried to talk to him on the motherfucking phone. I tried to squash this shit over the motherfucking phone, but he don't want to do it the grown way. He want to come to the motherfucking social media like, like him and his homeboy always do. Him and his home. When that shit went down, when him and Lil Elon got them, I put all the motherfuckers in the group chat. I was ready to pull up at that motherfucking house, fat boy house on that motherfucking head. That bitch came back on that dirt road so fast, went in the room, sneaking in the room, whispering, talking to fat boy on the phone. Sneaking in the room. Y'all should have seen his big ass up in the room, sneaking, trying to talk to fat boy on the phone. Like, what? This boy been being disrespectful. This boy been playing with my talk. I should have been goddamn... I should have been got on my shit with goddamn Buddha, but just like T-Ron told his ass, Shante got to like you for real. Because the Shante I know is off the fucking chain. And that the fucking truth. So don't play with me. But I let you did that. So I gave you, I give you that motherfucking stripe, bitch. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to get the last laugh on this one. Because I'm going to roll your big ass up and I'm going to smoke you, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smoke you in that motherfucking backwood. Oh, now, you don't that. wake it. You don't woke me back up. You don't woke it back motherfucking up. You should have just left that shit alone. I don't know if you trying to motherfucking put on a scene for somebody or what. Or you tried to clear your face. What he did was, T-Ron told him about the motherfucking YouTube that wasn't even going to get done by his motherfucking ass for real. 
Now he not went, he know all the shit that I know about him for real that I still ain't even speak on everything that I fucking know about his fucking messy ass. Well, that's why I and, he hold on, wait a minute. And he tried and went to go jump on motherfucking Facebook to make his motherfucking face card clear before I got on this bitch. That's what the fuck he tried to do. Ah, people want to know about Oh, he's fucking messy. That's it. Long story short, this bitch is messy. The bitch is messy and the bitch think he talk over top of every fucking body. Everybody. This bitch think he really top notch kennels for real. In real life ain't got shit. The bitch ain't got shit. Only thing he doing is waiting on his motherfucking parents to, to, to pass away so he can hold, so he can act like he own that house over there. He's so tough. That's all he doing. That's all he fucking doing. That's all he doing. That's all he talking about. It don't need for me to do this. It don't need for me to do that. Because my mom, when my mom and daddy pass away, I got to do this and I got to do that. Bitch, what? Go out here and get some shit. Own some shit. Get out here and get some shit. And own some shit. You got so much, so much racks you playing with. Keep for sure. Your ass ain't playing with no motherfucking racks. You, racks, you getting that motherfucking back in and all that shit. That money you making out that weed, you getting the fucking back in. And the money, the motherfuckers... Who you sending the money for to get the weed? That who getting no motherfucking racks. That who getting it. Mm. But that's why you need bad. That's why you need B so motherfucking much. That's why you need B. That's why you talk so much shit by B. But you real life need B for real. That's why every time shit hit the fan, you can't. Look how many times. And yeah, B. I'm glad I brought up your motherfucking name. Yeah, because I forget. Old girl told me something one time about you too. And no. Buddha never wanted to fucking support you. I used to always tell Buddha, well, Buddha, let's go, let's go and support B. Let's go to one of B a, a comedy shows and shit like that. Man, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Look at one time, you knew he was in Columbia. He called and told you he was in Columbia and you had a goddamn comedy show that night. We came back from clearing out of our house. Oh, B gonna be mad at me no more. I ain't fucking going there. This and that. Well, Buddha, come on, let's go and support me. B always supporting you. The next day you call Buddha, Buddha and I had a whole fucking lie set up for your ass. And you fell for it. The bitch always fucking talk about your dumb ass. But guess what? That's the shit y'all do. Y'all love dick ride y'all motherfucking homeboys. The only thing they be doing is shitting on y'all dumb ass. Shitting on y'all. All y'all. All y'all, all y'all holding his nuts and he ain't doing nothing but shit, talking shit about all y'all. The only nigga I ain't never hear Buddha talk shit about was Fat Boy. And that's on my kids. That's on everything I love. The only fucking person. And bitch, you fucking playing with me? Man, I ain't know You playing with me? But guess what? Like I said, I'm going to end this like this. I am going to end this. I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this like this right here. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this right here right now. Buddha, I was trying to, um, oh, I, she done pushed her head to the front. I was trying to let you live and I didn't want to come on here. And the only reason why I didn't want to come on here is because of the love and respect that I have for your mama. But I'm going to have to go and I'm going to have to talk to Miss Joanne and I'm going to have to let her know I had to do this because obviously... You ain't get enough motherfucking ass whippings coming up. You ain't get enough ass whippings or something. Because you fucked up. You was a real fucked up person. For real. And not only on top of that. Look how you don't fucking sit and talk by diaries. You don't sit and talk so much shit by diaries. But every time. look And diaries. And you know I ain't lying if you see this. Look at that time, all them times you was calling, goddamn Buddha phone, and Buddha wasn't answering the phone. He meant not to answer the motherfucking phone for you. He seen you calling him. He seen you calling him, but guess what? When you pull up on his motherfucking ass, it was a whole motherfucking other story. A whole other story. But guess what? He's a bitch. He's a clown. I don't give a fuck who got you. All I know is, I thank God, he showed me the real motherfucking Buddha, that everybody else, the same motherfuckers that you don't like, was trying to tell me about you. And I should have had listened. I ain't should have had to listen to them. I should have had paid attention to the signs that God was fucking giving me. And it, it would have never even got that far that had got with you. Because I would have hopped back on other shit. And trust and believe me, my niggas don't never be too motherfucking far away. My niggas always be on freeze. Ain't nothing for me to get none of my motherfucking niggas back. None of them. At least you got you some. None of them. 
So don't right. never think I'm motherfucking sweating you because I ain't sweating you. I ain't been sweating you before. I, I had you and I ain't sweating you now. I tr I just try to respect you because you told me in my aunt house that you don't like sharing. Because the moment you want to tell me, oh no, I say, you know, we can just be cool, kick it and link up, we link up. That, that my type of time with you, motherfucker. Okay, boom, this is what we going to do. I ain't going to cut my nigga off. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. But this is what I got going on. But I respect you. I respect your wishes because I know how the fuck I get down. So leave my name out your mouth. Go ahead on R. Kelly and be R. Kelly with the little fucking girl you with. And leave me off. Let me do what I'm doing. I'm doing my own thing. And you do your thing. And when you want to talk to me like a woman, you got my motherfucking number. Your daddy got my number. Your daddy just been to my house when? That been yesterday, Tony? The day before yesterday or yesterday? That was yesterday? The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Your daddy just been to my house the day before yesterday. Like, come on now. That shit ain't even supposed to be here. That shit ain't even supposed to be where it's at. For real, for real. But you took it there. You the motherfucking problem starter. You started and I'm a motherfucking finisher. Because I gave you three motherfucking chances to leave me the fuck alone and go on about your motherfucking business. But since you want to get on motherfucking Facebook for hee hee ha ha likes and comments... I'm a hee hee ha ha like and comment your motherfucking ass, motherfucker. And guess what? I can't wait and sit there move that motherfucking cloud, that little do that laser shit and move that cloud lay off my eye. Cause bitch, I'm coming for you. Wide the fuck open. Wide open. And I'm letting you know that now. Nah. Your daddy tell me not to do this. He said leave it alone. But just like I told him, I'm going to do it because somebody need to bring your motherfucking ass out. Somebody need to bring that motherfucking face card to the damn, the, the, the light. And it will be me. I done been in your house three times. Three. But I got something for you. I got something for you. You better be glad I ain't did what I was going to do. And the only reason why I ain't did what I was going to do is because of the respect I got for your mama and your motherfucking daddy. Because, bitch. Okay. Play with it. Play with it. That's all I'm going to say. Play the fuck with it, Mr. Buddha. Nah. You better mess the boot up. Man. I hope you heard, I hope you learn your valuable lesson. I'ma tell you this right now. You better not go. This strike one for me to you. And strike two, I'ma lay your ass to rest. I'ma dig you six feet on and I'ma lay you to rest. So I hope you learn your motherfucking lesson, a good valuable lesson. And know that leave me the fuck alone because I ain't the one to be played with. Now the next time I hear you say something about me, I'm coming up on this motherfucking live screen. And I'm posting receipts. And I'm posting every motherfucking day. And I'm bringing your ass up to the light. And next day, your motherfucking spirit going to be sitting right here by this chair. Well, my people like when you have chair. receipts. So, it. guess what? You better fucking walk a mother. You better tread. What you say earlier this morning? You better tread lightly. You better tread motherfucking lightly with me. But my you people better tread receipts. lightly. They love when you drop receipts. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bitch. You better tread lightly. And go ahead and tuck your head. On and get your head for tuck on them big stink sour ass balls of yours mm -hmm. and lift your motherfucking head up and walk that motherfucking carpet of shame like you need to, bitch. Big ass. You got me fucked up. Mm. Always talk about somebody. How to fuck you up on the internet. Harassing motherfucking women that don't even fucking know your motherfucking ass. You want to cash out bitches and shit for people that's telling you they don't fucking know you. They don't know you and you telling them. And t -Ron, Oh, yeah. Back to you. Hold on, y'all. I can't end this yet. t -Ron, Back to you. You talking about you said on that phone and you said, what the fuck this boy said today? Oh, that's my boy. I had to put his boots on. Okay. Now, that's your boy. You got to put your his boots on, right? But that's your boy. I can't say that. Well, you can't get up on there and be missing. If that's your boy, right? Because you said that your mouth. t -Ron, you said this. You said, that my boy, but you my homegirl too. I already called you plenty of times. You knew that I was already fed up with Buddha before anybody else knew. Because I already called you, me and you already had three different conversations about Buddha and me about to leave Buddha. I told you, t -Ron, I'm about to fucking leave Buddha. I can't take this shit no more. I'm about to leave this motherfucker. t -Ron, this motherfucker don't know who the fuck he playing with. But t he did this, he ain't tell me that. I ain't know y'all had that going on. You also told me, it was plenty of times that I could have called you 
and ask you, well, damn, T-Ron, what the fuck going on, Buddha? Buddha over there, what the fuck? Pull up, let me know what's going on. You already put me on point plenty of times about Buddha too. So I'm confused. What type of role you trying to play in this thing? What, you trying to be the middle man? What? The man the middle. What is it? You want us to meet you in the middle? Or what you want to do? Oh, we got Ellen Kina for me. So don't do that, for real. Y'all y'all too motherfucking messy cross that water. Y'all y'all men's, not all y'all, but y'all motherfucking men's is real motherfucking gay. Y'all get very much gay and very much motherfucking messy and real bitchy. Because Buddha, you do a whole lot of bitch shit. A whole lot of bitch shit, you do that shit. Well... That shit is stupid. That shit is crazy. Y'all need to stop that motherfucking shit. For real, for real. Y'all need to stop that motherfucking shit. But I understand why you do what you do. Because you ain't got no... You ain't. You got a pussy down there, Buddha. You, <gasps> you packing pussy. You packing straight cat. Straight motherfucking cat. That's all you packing. You ain't packing shit down there. Mm -mm. Big ass. Don't fucking play with me. But you know what? I had to do this. I hate I had to do it, but I had to do it. And you know why I had to do it? Because I know this, that bitch gonna fucking sit down and listen. He'll sit. If he don't sit down and listen to nothing else, he'll sit down and listen to this. Because for one, he don't, he been on little Tony motherfucking dick so motherfucking bad. Well, so it don't make no motherfucking sense. This bitch gonna know something about Tony before I even know something. Every plenty of days I'm sitting in the motherfucking living room. He'll come in there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell your sister this. Bitch, what? What? And I ain't used to talk to Shantae like that every day anyway. So I'm trying to figure out why the hell he keep bringing my name up. Don't worry about it. That's what I wanted to know because I've been really dealing with somebody. Everybody knows I was dealing with Greg. And mm -hmm. like, what? Me and Greg been day in, day out. So what are you talking about? Don't worry you about it. You think I give a damn about your relationship like that? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. You probably oh, tell disappointed tell me. No, I didn't. I probably have one. Uh, 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 hold on. Buddha, he would never do that bitch ass shit mm -hmm. you do. Never. Mm -hmm. No, bitch, so real here. I don't. I don't told this man. I told this man about Jeffrey. I told this man, and what makes it so bad now? The only person I ever messed around with in Utahville was Jeffrey. Told this man about motherfucking Jeffrey. Now later on, now after we been on broken and everything, now we on the phone. Oh yeah, yeah, cause they told me before I even started talking to you that they that they caught you in the truck. In Utahville, fuck, bitch, stop fucking lying. Cause first of all, only person I ever messed with in Utahville was Jeffrey. And every time me and Jeffrey used to link up, we used to be at a motherfucker in his daddy house or, or at a room. So come on now, come on, Buddha. I ain't never kept nothing from this man. I ain't never lied about who I dealt with. I ain't never did only, nothing. Only thing I ever did that I shouldn't did was spared your motherfucking ass. I shouldn't have spared you. I should have got on the same type of time you was on and show you who the fuck I am. But you knew who I was. But you know why? He probably was on your dick so bad. Because you did say one time, remember when you had no motherfucking, um, no motherfucking pajama set? Which one? No fucking onesies. And you did that video shoot and something at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Right then and there. He told me then that he had one of fucking, you said you had one of motherfucking talk to my motherfucking sister. <laughs> You will never. That's you, why. You will never. Never. Mm. Never, never, never. Talk about, yeah, I don't want to talk to your sister. Shante, never talk to me. Never. You're not my type. Mm. And the second boy I dealt with across the water, that's the only nigga. If I ever go back and mess with a nigga across the water, it will be Gregory. Nobody else. So keep me out the fog in your mind. That shit Talk never about. fucking happened. Never. That must be why you had so much fucking pressure mm. when you came here on retail. Now that shit makes a lot of fucking sense. Oh, I wish you would have been told me that. Yeah, he told me that. He told me that when we were all broke up. He said, well, matter of fact, I think we was coming for something. I can't know where we were coming from. He was uh -huh. like, uh -huh. oh, I had one to, um, mm -hmm. I had one to talk to your sister. No, we were talking about the time when they had that fucking cooler face. They had that cooler face. And all of us were not there, and I was flipping out on big. Hold on, wait a minute, Shantae. I gotta say something again. You think Shantae squeezed your ass like a lemon? Baby, I wanna squeeze your ass and peel you back like a raw ass apple. <laughs> oh my god. Me? We were gonna do something. Me? Hmm. Hell no, the only boy I would ever speak.
the block going, spin a bend, bounce back 30 mm -hmm. times, we'll be great. That shit you, Buddha, you must just smoke your own product, bro. Oh my God, Buddha. I tell you that boy. I wish I would have told me this love. Yeah, but guess what? That's why. Came out there and your ass. That's why. That's what the fucking I, problem I is. Sense. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk to your sister. I had wanted to talk to your sister. Um, but something he said. I can't remember why the fuck he said. I don't know if he said he hit. He swipe up on on a snap or something. But I know it was had the something to do with you had that fucking onesie on. We was in that hotel that day. Probably, and you did that, that fucking video, onesie. Yeah, that. And then he saw, me, he saw us at the fucking Cooler Fest and he been trying to talk to me, but I been too busy with trying to fight biz. Now that's a lie that night. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody that was at that Cooler Fest know that I was trying to Cause I remember Ryan. Now listen, I remember me being on a golf cart. I remember when I was on a golf cart, and I was like Tony. I no yeah, I said Ryan, Ryan cause Ryan had told me to put him on with Tony, and I was like, no, I can't do that. You know, I can't do that because you know such and such. Like we were cousins. Oh no, you said so, put me on with Ryan. Yeah, the but he said. Yeah. I wish the hell. Ooh, the way I was but I told him I couldn't have did that because you know. So, such and such. So I remember me being on a, a golf cart with Ryan, but I never remember Ooh, Buddha was trying to it. talk to me. I never know that. But that night I was trying to you fight my baby daddy kidding. at the cooler fest that year. Because I ended up getting burned on my leg and everything else. But this ain't about my baby daddy because, Lord, I heard about my baby daddy. They couldn't keep my baby daddy name out his mouth. Shut from the time up. I started going, but from the time me and Buddha start, that's all he was talking about. Oh, your baby daddy, your baby daddy, your baby daddy, your baby daddy. Your baby daddy. And now, guess what? He on the same motherfucking boat with my motherfucking baby daddy. They paddling that bitch together. They paddling that bitch together. Ain't shit. Me and this man ain't got shit going on. I ain't want nothing to do with you, Buddha. I ain't want nothing to do with you. Just know the business is unfinished. That boy that he That's it. That bitch so now, I hope you lace your boots up. And I hope you got them bitch choke up to your motherfucking ankles. And I hope Damn. you have a good day. And to his people, to his family. Him. I hope y'all don't like feel no type of way because there's no bad me. blood with y'all. And Junior, I got to hit you up about the rice. I need you to make some rice. The only boy, uh-uh. I ain't bringing no more of the meat up around my, my mama. It's like, no, it's not for my mama. None of my family members know. Hell no. But that's it. I ain't got nothing else to say about Mr. Keeper for sure. I, I, I just had want to clear that in. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he had want to talk to you one time before, but he glad he ain't talked to you. Yeah, because he already know what I'm about. You must have really been watching. That what he said. He yeah, you you could time. you already know you wasn't gonna get nowhere anyway, and you need to go and damn lose some weight because that profile picture you got on Facebook, you look too fucking suck up anyway, like you about to be in a wedding. Hmm. Stop that. Now ne let me know who y'all want me to go sit down with and vent with. What they man? I don't care if they married, single, baby daddy side piece. Do it. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, cause Buddha, you really. I wish Shantae mm -hmm. would have been told me that. That make a lot of sense. And y'all can go ahead in the comments and not that for the make girls a lot name. Of sense. Let me tell y'all for the women name I call when I first started doing a video. It's nothing between y'all. I'm just telling y'all about him and what happened when I first started talking to him and all the things he was saying and stuff like that. So, because I don't have time for all that extra shit. I got other shit I'm dealing with. I don't got time mm -hmm. for all that extra shit, okay? So, yeah. So, y'all go ahead. And all them comments, all them fake pages, like what happened on the last time. Oh, I know who thing. that is anyway. We so already right. know who, who. Know so, who when y'all want to come comment on the video, make sure you yourself. be yourself. Say that shit with your motherfucking chest. Put it on the flow, like Lotto say, ho. I wish y'all would have told me this. Put the shit on the motherfucking flow, because I don't got time for no fake pages. I got other damn shit I dealing hmm. with. But myself, my granny, my children, I don't got time for none of that bullshit. That's why I tried to told Buddha. That's why I wasn't trying to bring this shit here. But it hit and it's up and it's stuck and it will be posted. And if y'all still need y'all bags, make sure y'all comment and let me know. Because me and him don't got no bad blood and I will sure let him know because he's still about his money. Please let me Who know. Who are you talking about? T-Ron? No, Greg. Oh, I'm about to say, yeah, T-Ron. And if you need too. somebody... To do anything, let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because I wish I did with a big And we got a Q&A coming because up. We got a fucking Q&A.
This stuff got my nerve. Tony, we got to turn no. out the Q&A. No, we're going to turn out the Q&A, but I wish you would have taken my Buddha big ass <sighs> long time ago. Because I would have came to the family function and Yo, killed you. Yo, fuck Buddha. And this girl going to pull I out wish you Buddha mama me. yard. No, Pull real. out to the fucking door. Blowing the horn, looking for me one fucking night. Hmm. I was like, Tony, what the fuck was you going to do? Hmm. This bitch came out. I was going to come in. I was like, Lord, have mercy. You remember that night? I said, oh, no. Shout this out. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. It only take 15, 20 minutes to come across the bridge. Oh, she came looking for her sister. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But, y'all, we got a Q&A coming up. And, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We're about to get real juicy on the Q&A. Tony, sure Tony want to do a Q&A on me because she know I'm an open book and she know I'm going to motherfucking what? Well, I am, too. She know I'm going to put that shit on the floor. I'm going to put that shit on the floor. I wish she would have told me about this humpback wheel. I would have skinned his ass. Man, fuck like Buddha because at the end of the motherfucking day, Everybody already know what motherfucking Not time it is. Sense. Everybody know what time it is with Buddha. I don't know. It take everybody to figure this stuff out. I wasn't even going to drop my nuts on him, but I had to drop my nuts on him. Mm. I wasn't going to do it, but I had to do it. Because at the end of the day, you know, whatever he already did for me or whatever, you know, I appreciate it. Because, you know, he was making sure I got back and forth to the hospital. He, he was helping me out a whole lot with the hospital thing, getting me back and forth to the hospital. And shit like that. But that's what I'm trying to say. Damn, what the fuck? Wrong with you, nigga? Don't worry about none of that. Don't worry about none of that. But yeah, anyway, we got a Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> that? <laughs> Ooh, girl. Tony! Girl. No, for real. Hold on. We got a Q&A coming up, y'all. I ain't know when we gonna do it. When mm -hmm. we gonna do it, Tony? Mm-mm. What day is Sunday, the Lord's Day? <laughs> when we gonna do it? Well, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know, but I'm going to drop it so y'all going to know anyway. Y'all going to be wanting to see. And make sure y'all stay tuned for that Risha Roulette too. So make sure y'all subscribe. And let me know if somebody else want to vent at the round table about they... Well, I ain't even want to vent. I ain't even want to do it. Let me know who want to vent and I'll go meet up with them since they want to vent.